The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, in collaboration with the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and the National Orientation Agency, developed the National Ethics and Integrity Policy as part of efforts to ensure the return of Nigerians to the value of old that made the country great as well as fight corruption in the public and private sectors. The policy was approved by the Federal Executive Council on 19th August 2020 and launched by President Muhammad Buhari on 28th September 2020 during the second national summit on diminishing corruption in the public sector. The National Ethics and Integrity Policy Project, government's aspirations for rediscovery of our cherished traditional ethical values of honesty, integrity, hard work, truth and justice, unity, faith, and consideration for one another irrespective of status or background. We must all join hands together to fight corruption and return to our traditional values of honesty and integrity. The policy places an obligation on all Nigerians and everyone who dwells within the borders of Nigeria or who relates with the country to uphold the core values of human dignity, voice and participation, patriotism, personal responsibility, integrity, national unity and professionalism. Immediately after the approval of the policy, the Commission working with its partners simplified the policy to make it easier to understand and translated it into three major languages and pidgin English. A work plan and consequence management template was also developed to guide the implementation of the policy and bring it to the doorsteps of every Nigerian. Furthermore, roundtables were held in Lagos and Abuja to sensitize the media on the policy. Another major program was the sensitization of first-class chiefs and emirs in Nigeria who make up the National Council of Traditional Rulers in Nigeria during their 12th General Assembly on March 29, 2021. The main objectives of the policy, the National Ethics and Integrity Policy, include the strengthening of government efforts and positive national transformation and helping the country to reach national development goals as we reframe the meaning of our national purpose and as we save our country from an erosion of ethics and the collapse of values. Between the 30th of March and 22nd of June 2021, a total of 10 zonal dialogues were held across the six geopolitical zones of the country, with some zones split into two owing to security concerns and distance. Sector-specific sensitizations have been held for the professional associations and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Cumulatively, about 1,500 key stakeholders have been sensitized and educated on the policy. The participants have clearly identified with contents of the policy and have pledged to cascade the message down to their constraints. Efforts are ongoing to continue the engagement with traditional rulers at the state level just as machineries are being put in place to reject the participation and practical involvement of the private sector organizations and professional bodies. Public servants are also to be trained at the Anti-Corruption Academy of Nigeria on the policy. The implementation of the NEIP by ICPC, OSGF and NOA is strategic, following the guidelines in the work plan and the consequence management template. Ultimately, the entire country will be covered and transformed by the implementation of the National Ethics and Integrity Policy.